Okay, we're live today with a couple of very interesting men. First is uh, that we're going to talk to is Jacob Morris from West Brookfield. Hi, Jake. How are you today? Fine. Jake, how old are you? I'm nine. And where do you live? West Brookfield, Vermont. Is that where we're broadcasting from today? Yes. Okay, now uh, this is sort of a special weekend. What uh, What's special about this weekend? Tomorrow's the classic. And how many classics have uh, you been part of? I have been part of all of them so far. Right. Now with uh, Jacob, we have another very interesting young man here. What's your name, please? My name is Patrick Morris. Patrick Morris. Are you any relation to Jake? Well, me and Jake are both jerks. I understand. But are you any relation to him? Well, here we are in Westbrook. Yeah, the table 92. Oh, yeah. Well, let's take a look at Jake's tail. Okay, what I'd like to do is uh, talk to you a little bit about the summer and some of the things that uh, you've done. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, some of the favorite things that uh, you've done this, this summer, Jake. What were some of the highlights? I think my biggest highlight is probably starting collecting baseball cards. Really? And when did you start that? I started it about two months ago, the beginning of the summer. What made you decide to start? My brother, I, the year before, my brother was maybe bought two or three packs. And I'm sorry. So then the year later, I said, what the heck? I think I'll buy one. And so I was flipping through that pack, and I saw I got a turn back the clock of my very favorite, very very favorite player, Jim Rice. So that got me interested. And now, how many cards do you have in your collection? <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe someday I'll count them. But my rough estimate is 400 cards. Pretty good. Thank you. Um, would you like me to show you what the, his card looked like to turn back the clock? Yes, please. Okay, why don't you hold it right in front of Jake? Okay, first the ah. Uh, here, pack. Jake, I noticed that you have a shirt on that says Gilead Scout Camp. Yes. What is that in reference to? I went to a, 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 a camp that is called Gilead, and I'm a boy scout. So that was uh, another one of the highlights of the summer. Yes. Okay, you're going to hold up the turn back the clock Jim Rice card? Now just hold it still if you can. There it is, turn back the clock Jim Rice. That's the card that started it all. And here is the real card of my favorite player, Jim Rice. He has a double. And today, hey, just as we are filming today, I got a double of him, which made me feel very happy. Great. I have 18 Red Sox, which are my favorite team. I hope to get the 25. Now, Patrick, I noticed that you have on a special shirt, too. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Well, I got this when I went to a baseball game in Fenway Park. And the Red Sox were playing the Angels, and the Red Sox won 10 to 2. And I have the card on the person that was pitching, and it was his birthday. Hold it right up near your face, okay, Patrick? Here is the person that was pitching, Mike Bodiger. Now, does anyone think something weird about him? Did well, I you said he was on the Red Sox. Yeah. Okay, you can take it down now. Yep. Do you see anything weird about yeah, it? Yeah, that is a card for someone on the Orioles. Yeah, because they traded him. Good thing, and he was pitching, and they won 10-2, to 2, and also on his birthday. It was real, it was real good, because he got a lot of strikeouts. A pose from, a pose from Roger Clemens, who lost on his birthday. That's true. Well, what were some of the other things that you did this summer that you thought were a lot of fun? 
Um, we went to Lake Champlain a lot, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Champlain or Champagne? Champlain. Pain. Pain. The big one or the little one? Little one. Little. And how are you doing in your swimming? Good. Good. I was number one in my class. I was took a swimming lessons? Yes. And did you go on any vacation? Oh, yes. We went, traveled all over New England. Oh. Yeah. I got this, this, yesterday. Well, that's another highlight. And you spent some time with your cousins? Yes. Yes. They collect a lot of baseball cards. Yeah, they got something like this in, in just one day. This in one day. And, uh, go to any amusement parks? Yeah. Yeah. We went to Rocky Point. I mean, yeah, that was so May. fun. My mm -hmm. favorite ride was the bumper car. Oh yeah, that was so fun. But you know what I like? That thing that went so fast around and backwards. That was roller, real fun. A little roller coaster. No, the at the Tunbridge Fair, that's the little roller coaster. I hate that you go like this, Ooh. and you do it like about fifteen times. The Tunbridge Fair is coming up pretty soon, isn't it? Patrick? Yeah, yeah. And we, I have to get some. I was gonna um, plan on spending all my money. Nah. You're not going to spend it all? Not every single penny. Well, what are some of the other things that you'll remember this summer for, Patrick? Well, I remember um, going to my grandmother's this house and seeing our cousins. And, and I remember playing Finders Keepers. It was real fun. And then there's another game. That's called Finders Keepers. When you trash a house, you want me to show you how you do it? No, I, I think we can do without that right now. <laughs> and uh, there were some other sports activities, weren't there, Jake? Yes. Early in the summer? Yes, we went to soccer league. Mm -hmm. And then there was one even before that, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a baseball league. There was little league. Right. And big in, in instructional league. So you guys have had a real busy summer. Yes. Jake, what do you keep your uh, cards in? I keep it in a, a, bo a tin box that has says Jacob on it. And it's from England. Neat. You guys are real lucky. Thank you. I got this. Mm -hmm. This is from Boston. Well, is that it for the memories that you have of the summer? <laughs> no, there's no. so much. I can't even tell them all. Did you go to visit any other friends? Yeah, yeah. we went to go visit Josh down in Maine. Yeah, that was pretty fun, going to see Josh. And later on, maybe, we'll have an interview about the bat. The bat. The well, bat. tell us about the bat right now. Okay, okay. I will. I will. I'll tell half it. I'll tell it until um, you don't know the story. Well, I heard so I lived it. <laughs> well, oh, see, one night it was four o'clock in the morning, and so, well, my dad and Josh's dad had work. We were having tennis rackets when we found on them, and my brother thought they were playing tennis, but they were really trying to kill a bat. Jake will tell the story on how it all happened. Go ahead. Okay. I, I recall being asleep and waking up at four in the morning, and I and it seems like there was an el a bur an elephant burglar who liked to tap dance. I couldn't understand what the noise was. It was like bam, smash, crash. I couldn't understand, and it woke Josh up. And so I said, "Do you know what it is?" And he said, "No." So I go and I peek under the crack and I see my dad's sneaker. <laughs> so I say, and so then I hear somebody say, you're waking everybody up, and I say, yeah! And so then I open the door, and I see my dad with two tennis rackets in his hand. And I said, oh yeah, you were playing tennis. <laughs> and that room was maybe 20 feet in diameter, it was very small. And I saw, and I heard, and, the, and that morning, I heard that a bat had gotten in the room. And so, Josh's dad 
took a broom and tried to get it against the wall and smack. That was what half the bang and crash was. So then, my dad woke up and he said, and, and Josh's dad said, what are we going to do about the bat? And dad said, it's time to play ball. And so he said, do you have any tennis rackets? And he said, yeah, sure. So they go get their tennis rackets, and they're whamming the bat around. Smack, splish, ah. And so then, Laura, Lauren was down on the couch. And she got up, and she said, and she got up to see what the noise was. And just then, my dad knocked the bat and made it ricochet off the wall down onto the couch where she was sleeping. And if she had gone, and if she had gotten all back on that couch, she would have had heart heart failure. Well, that's a great story. Okay, before we close out this interview, Patrick, yeah. look at your brother. Now, I'll give you a chance. What does he look like? What does he look like? How would you describe him? I describe him. Open up. like the biggest pepperoni pizza I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Except for Mrs. Rule, of course. Like Mrs. Rule, the music teacher. Oh yeah, she's a bigger pizza than me. Mm -hmm. She's One. got freckles. She got freckles on her butt. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Why, have you been checking? <laughs> no, but I bet you she does. Well, thank you both for this interview. Thank you. And we'll check in with you next year. Oh, good. Next year! Wait, what's that? There. Now I'm in the frame. I have to scrunch down. Uh, we're doing a musical performance today of something that has never before been recorded on film or video. Uh, I'll be assisted in this by my physical dance interpreter, Patrick Morris and the cameraman, who right now should be going back there. Oh, okay, Jake, that's your shoulder. Get your head in. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> there you go. Can you hold it steady? There you go. And our cameraman, Jacob Morris. Okay, Jake, go back and wide angle it. And don't trip over the cords, whatever you do. Okay, so here we start with mud season romance. <laughs> Jake, yes. just a wide angle it. I did it, but... Well, you did it back again. I know. Okay. <laughs> So I went down to drown my 
sorrows and Ashley's The power locals run them up for a club I made the most of my time during half the hour And stayed on to try my Friday night or not She came in like a wind from Jamaica Dell and Ashley's with a breath warm and sweet And I say unto you with my hand on my heart This was not your average Friday night for me To her with my Friday night grin and asked if I could buy her a beer. Ooh, she answered me with eyes, some brown, just like the color of mud season deer. Then I said, You live in town, she said, for all of my life. And I said, Why haven't I seen you around? And she said, I guess our paths move in different ways. Let's be happy that a crossroads been found. Budweiser's at Ashley's I asked her for riding my truck I couldn't help but smile as we pushed our way outward This was an unbelievable Friday night luck And I took on my favorite back roads You can almost hear the maple sap blow And I can't say she didn't warn me What would happen if I didn't go Said, listen up, boy, said, every year when the winter runs short, all you bucks try to jump the high fence. I'll see the same scene on all the back roads. Well, I'll be happy when mud season ends. Despite the liquor. And I admit I'd smoke some grass. But I had to admit that the words of that cop saved my ass. And I still put in my hours at Ashley's Though the buds have now appeared on the trees And I searched the smoky day 